Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to use the aggregate function. Now the aggregate function, what it does is it totals up a list of values. Now those totals could be anything from an average to a count to a sum. So I'll go into the sh other sheet here. This is just kind of a, a depiction of the function arguments in the aggregate function. So it takes three arguments, the function number, the options, and the array. So you can see here the function numbers, it goes from 1 to 19. So, so there's nine different types of functions. It can average, it can count, it can count blanks, uh, it can do a max, a minimum, it can do a product, and there's various ones that it can do here. And I'm going to cover just a couple of them here. Now, after setting up the, the function number, there are some options where uh, you can ignore nested subtotals, you can ignore hidden values, subtotals, aggregates, ignore, ignore nothing, or you can ignore hidden rows and ignore hidden values. And that's the, that's the options that you provide. The array is basically the list or the range uh, of values that you want to perform uh, this, extra, this particular function on. And K is being used. It's kind. It's optional for most of these, except for, for example, uh, the uh, min and max. Excuse me, or the um, excuse me, the large and the small. Um, I'll go ahead and show an example of that. So why would we want to use the aggregate function? Let me go back here in the sheet one and give you an example. So here are some functions where we have an average of these values. So the average function, there, there's actually an average function for that. So it's averaging A2 to A6. It gives us an average of 22. Now the max function, it's kind of find the maximum value here, which is 50. The minimum value, there's also a function min, which gives 0. The product is basically the product of A2 to A6. So it is uh, multiplying everything in here. Of course, there's a 0 here. Everything turns 0. The sum is adding it all up median, you're trying to find the middle value, here it's 20, and large and small. So large and small basically is saying, what is the largest value of the list? And if there's a, a secondary argument here, this is saying, what is the second largest value? And the second largest value in this list is 30. Uh, very similar to small. This one is saying, what is the second smallest value here? And the second smallest value is 10. Now let's say, for example, that I was, I still wanted to have this range. I selected a whole range and and uh, that range is dynamic and instead of having just all numbers maybe there was an error in there. So maybe it has a 0 divided by 0 error. So that's going to give you a divide by 0 error here and you've noticed now that all these have errored out and that's because there's an error here and any of these functions when they see that error they're also going to give an error. What the aggregate function does is it can bypass that. So if I type ag aggregate, and let's say that um, I'm going to use these numbers here. So you, you, this function number, you're going to use the function number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to use, I'm, I put them out here so they kind of map to these here. So I'm just, just going to call this cell, which will bring back that number. So it just makes it easier for my example. But you see it. They have the drop down where it's kind of nice. It provides you uh, what it is so you can figure it out. Now, the option here is there's many other options here. And one of the main options that you would use aggregate for is either ignoring hidden rows and or ignoring hidden values, or maybe just both. So I'm just going to put seven here. So I'm going to ignore hidden rows and values, even though I'm going to just apply this example on errors. So if I select that and then I select my options, now, excuse me, this is going to be my array or my reference. And basically, it's, my, it's just my list. So I'm going to select from A2 to A6. And I'm going to put that, a, change that, and press the F4 key to make that an absolute value. So this is an absolute uh, value range. So when I copy it down, this range doesn't change. But the C9 becomes C10 here. It becomes C11 because uh, there's no dollar signs in front of that. So when it copied down, it's going to adjust accordingly. But this will not A2 to A6. It's just going to keep that. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and close parentheses, press Control enter to stay in that cell. And now it's giving me 27.5. Basically, it is averaging out these values, right? If I select just those four cells, my average here is 27.5. So it's basically ignored that blank. And that's what it's done now, since it's an error. Let me go ahead and double click it to bring it down. And you'll see now it's pretty much taking care of the other cells here now, because it's basically ignored that blank. Now you can see the max is 50 here. The minimum is 10. It saw that. 
even though it looks at the range a2 to a6, it's ignoring a4. And the product, it's ignoring that 0, so 50 times 20 times 10 times 30, 300,000. And the sum, it's just summing that all together, which makes it 110. And the median is 25. It's in the middle. Now, how do we take care of the large and small? Well, the large and small, it's missing an extra argument. So I mentioned before that k, it's missing that. So right, I want it to have the second largest value. All right, so the second largest value is going to be 30. Right, so I put 2 there, it's going to output 30. So I need that k value here. That k argument has to be entered. So same with small. Uh, comma 2 and then go ahead and close parentheses it's going to bring back actually 20 now because 0 is no longer the small value here so it can bring back 20 here so that's one of the reasons why you probably want to use aggregate command uh, if you've got a list that you are performing some kind of calculations on and it's kind of dynamic and you may be expecting that there may be an error or maybe you want to hide some values uh, it will ignore those particular settings and it makes it just much easier that you don't have to reset your uh, ranges in this case maybe I have to reset my ranges from A2 to A3 and then A5 to A6 this is a small list but if you had a larger list you don't have to put want to put other commas and reference the list and, and make it kind of long there so the aggregate command makes it a little bit easier to do that if you are expecting values or cells that have a an error such as div zero or maybe a, a pound sign NA or a pound sign REF those type of errors so that's a little introduction on the aggregate command I hope this helps thanks for watching